Boxing Day 2015 and uh, the river's just breached coming to the canal so the towpath disappeared and it's coming through down there, I'll go and have a look at that now See what's happening in the yard. Uh, the last time it came up this high was the big floods of 2012, so there'll be a few tears tonight, I think. I don't think I'll bother wading through that. <laughs> yep, it's just gone down the top of my well, is now. Very nice. So, I've just about to have a walk down my allotment, but I don't think there's any point. The river's breached, so the allotment will be flooded. And, uh, I need to look after the boat now, make sure it doesn't end up on the towpath. 2012 it floated onto the towpath and braced it off with a few, uh, few boards, so I'll do that now, I'll go find some boards. So this is where the river's gone. That's working quite well. I don't think I would have parked my van down there though. <laughs> Still, safe at the minute. And there's the river higher than the road behind the wall, so it's going to get a bit worse before it gets better. So those units will be flooded, one of them being mine, <laughs> but everything's high, we've got everything up high. And this is why it's flooding here because uh, the river can't get under the bridge. Alright mate. Yeah. I've never seen it like this before. You're the bad flood we had about three or four years back. Was yeah. it as bad as this? Uh, it was slightly worse than this, but I think it's gonna get there. I just spoke to the uh, flood warden up on the road there. 
and uh, Todmorden's underwater, Hebden Bridge is underwater, about four foot apparently, Mytham Road's underwater, um, it's supposed to peak, the rain's supposed to peak in a couple of hours but that means nothing here, sometimes the weather could be worse, sometimes it could be better, um, it wasn't supposed to rain yesterday and it did, that's why we've got this flood, there's nothing you can do, just watch it and sort of enjoy it in a way but it's going to ruin a lot of Christmases uh, it's been Boxing Day but we've had it worse than this in Cumbria it's not good for anybody though Two big uh, wooden beams coming down now, so there's, I suppose there's a bit of a danger there. The bridge will block and, uh, and the bridge might go, but so we're staying off it now. It's not in the past, water's come right over the top, but we only need one big tree to come down and that'll be it. So this is now about the same as 2012. Supposedly a once in a hundred year flood. And it's now 2015. 9.59, uh, nearly 10 o'clock. It's supposed to, the rain's supposed to peak about 10, 10.30. Uh, but obviously the river's going to carry on rising until then. This has now exceeded the worst flood we had in 2012. It didn't pour through the wall like that last time. Uh, my boat's higher than the towpath. That's the towpath down there. And I've just got to wait now until it drops to make sure I'm pushing my boat back in the canal. Uh, otherwise I'll have the embarrassing situation of my boat being on the towpath. Uh, that's the yard out there. One's over about to go under. Nothing we can do about it. So just wait and try and enjoy the spectacle I suppose. 11.15 well above the towpath now there's just a few lumps of wood and bars holding me back in the canal and it's higher than it's ever been before so there's going to definitely be some damage around tonight and it's still rising just to see how we get them well that's my boat on the towpath I'm just going to have a look at the river and I'm going to get a little uh, rowing boat out and take a rope across to the other side and try and pull her into the middle for when the water drops. Um, no danger at the minute yet, more rain forecast, but it carries on like this. Uh, I'll have to sleep, so that's the only thing I can do. Hello. Two bow lines and a V, and I've just eased off on the stern, so I'm now well in the canal if it goes down. Tons of diesel coming down the river now, obviously, lots of cars underwater and factories, fuel tanks, not least of all the Land Rover over there. <laughs> and it's almost over the wall, it's far higher than 2012 now, far higher. Uh, nothing we can do about it, and it's happening all over England, so we're 
think anybody's going to bother about us here in Little Calderdale. See how it goes. been a lot higher than it's ever been before three foot beside the polytunnel so everything's trashed be equipment things I thought would always be safe um, the eyes looking at no bees in them <laughs> right have to start clearing this crap up while it's still reasonably light there must have been a lot of current through here Yep. No, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. Water tank on its side, fuel beehives, but everything's still here. I'll just go check that the bees are okay. Yeah, it's a mess, but that's all it is. Oh, been right up here, right up to the banking. This is far higher then. Oh, there's the cold frame on its side. There must have been a hell of a current through here. Well, it has got up to the bees. Oh, one beehive's gone. One beehive's gone, but luckily, oh, the bees are there. Look, I'll put that together now. I'll go get a suit and put that together. So that's the damage. One beehive washed away. Oh no! One beehive from this corner gone completely. That had a nuke. And the big rubber mat's gone. So, I need to move my hives up even higher. Right. Let's get started. Let's go get a bee suit on. Yeah, it's a mess. But well, that's all it is. 